I could say that I hope you'll be happy, but I know you will be. I know that you guys find joy in the hope of eternity. I know that you find joy in the self-sacrifice of helping each other get there. And so I just wish you the best as you two grow together, deepen in faith, deepen in your capacity to love and receive love more than you ever could on your own. Dan and Rachel, it is with great joy that all of us gather with you today to celebrate the sacrament of holy matrimony. I want to speak of how our Lord Jesus Christ is the one who calls you together. Today is a day where we see the providence of God coming to fruition. But the Lord brings you together so that you can learn from each other so that you can begin to learn how to be virtuous in a much fuller way. When I heard about Dan for the first time, I was on board. No questions. They met on a pilgrimage. Okay, check. Good, good. Love it. In the fall of 2016, Rachel and a friend of hers, Amanda, decided that they were going to go on a one-day pilgrimage to Washington, D.C. Well, all on his own, Dan decided to sign up for that same trip. Father Emmerich, a Benedictine priest who conducted a retreat in our parish last fall, said this. He said, with God, there are no coincidences. I remember praying, Lord, okay, I'm really intrigued by him, and I would love to get to know him better, but I don't want to ask for his phone number. So if this is what it's supposed to be, then give him the courage to ask me and and then at the, yeah, at the airport, we waited for a gate, and I decided to ask. Mm -hmm. She gave it to me, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, here we are. Right. <laughs> yeah, after a little bit of time. A couple years later, <laughs> here we are. The first extended conversation that he had with Rachel was in the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C. And today, they were wedded in Rachel's home parish, the Church of the Immaculate Conception in Mantu. Rachel, on our very first dates, we went to Shinola store, and now we've gotten each other watch watches for our wedding presents. Amazing. Dan, I'm incredibly blessed by you, and I'm absolutely honored to be your wife. With all of that being said, though, can you believe that we are already here? It seems like it was just last week that we were sitting next to each other on a Southwest flight bound for Washington, D.C. 
You were the quiet engineer that caught my eye, and now I have learned that you are the amazing and faith-filled man who has captured my heart. I'm excited. Since we are embarking on the greatest adventure and pilgrimage of our lives very soon, I wanted to make sure we were prepared for the journey. I marked the day we stop being two and become one, and that is an amazing gift. I'll see you at the church very soon, and I will be the one wearing white. I cannot wait to be your bride, and I look forward to loving you and honoring you all the days of my life. I love you, Dan, very much. In his, Rachel. I, Daniel, take you, Rachel, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Rachel, take you, Daniel, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. He called me one day and said, hey, so I met this girl. I said, oh, really? So what do you think? He said, yeah, she's cool. A week went by, he said, all right, she's cooler. Another week went by and he goes, oh, man, she is amazing. When Dan stopped by South Bend, Indiana, where I go to school right now, on his way to ask my parents' blessing to ask Rachel to marry him, and we sat across the table from each other. We were both very aware of why he was there. <laughs> but in that moment, I really saw the sincere, deep love he has for Rachel, his willingness to sacrifice for her. And that was everything. Been an absolutely amazing ride to know the man that sits right in front of you right there. Now, over the years, he's become this handsome, this witty, intelligent, this funny, this charismatic, this, uh, Dan, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read your handwriting, and I just, I can't, I, I cannot seem to read it right now. I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it, still you give yourself away. When I look at the two of them, all I see is an absolutely amazing couple who loves each other dearly. A long and happy life, both of them together, to an eternity together. So, everybody please, raise your glasses to the happy couple, Dan, Rachel, I love you both, and congratulations on an amazing day. You have been so, so
And something that he didn't know at the time was that when I had dreamed about getting proposed to, I dreamed about getting proposed to in the church because I wanted Jesus to truly be the center of everything, including the moment that I got to say yes to the man that I was going to marry. So that was just really, really special too. I mean, our faith has been the center of our relationship from the beginning. Um, and you know, we built, it's both very important to us and we've strived for that since the very beginning. And we want to make sure that we run the race that has been set before us, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus. And so I'm excited for that pilgrimage. And I certainly hope that it comes with kids. <laughs> and I hope that it comes with a lot of people that we get to serve and love along the way. Uh, but I'm really excited that I get, you know, a permanent partner in, mm -hmm. in the journey. May God, the Eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and always abide in your home. It's my privilege to introduce to you Mr. Daniel and Mrs. Rachel Miller.